What's going on, YouTubers? It's the Natural Born Thriller, and welcome everyone to WWE NXT Review, the show from February 13th, 2019. They were at Full City University. You got Mario Ronaro, Nigel McGuinness, and Percy Watson on commentary. So let's get right to it. We got the first opening match, which was uh, Dominic uh, Dijakovic versus Shane Thorne. Match itself, I thought it was pretty good. Pretty good opener. Uh, you know, Shane Thorne, you know, he's, um, he's finding his foot where it pertains to being a singles wrestler now since, um, Nick Miller is no longer, uh, in the company. You know, formerly known as The Mighty, um, you know, no longer, no longer a tag team because Nick Miller, uh, re was released. Which, probably it's, it's a good thing I bring it up, bring it up too, because I, I also failed to bring it up too where it pertains to the World's Collide, um, review I did. Um, I remember I talked about this before from the past, uh, reviews of NXT that, Based on how I saw, you know, Shane Thorne and Nick Miller, the the mighty, losing to uh one two, which is, uh, Danny, uh, you know, Orton and Danny Birch, I thought, you know, I thought it meant, you know, only those two were, were gone, you know, Shane Thorne and Nick Miller, but it ends up being just Nick Miller. He ends up going back to Australia. I guess he wasn't unhappy uh, with his position in NXT, which is why he decided uh to leave, or access for release, whatever. Uh, and Shane Thorne is you know, staying behind. So yeah, Shane Thorne is staying behind because I think WWE, uh, you know, and by WWE and Triple H, he sees some uh, some value in Shane Thorne, which is why they, uh, he's still there. So yeah, uh, so they they, they were testing the wars with Shane Thorne against uh, Dominic Dijakovic, and yeah, he did a pretty good job in the match, which I thought was a good match. But Dominic Dijakovic, he's always been impressive uh, based on how I seen him um, before coming to WWE. Uh, his days in Ring of Honor, I know he's he's um he's he's that good, and he showed it again on NXT here. And sure enough, uh, he is winning against um Shane Thorne with a feast your eyes. So yeah, very good match. And uh, Dominic Djokovic, he's going he's um he's going to persist on NXT. I just hope that uh he he gets treated right on on the main roster whenever that that happens. And when he goes to the main roster, they are probably gonna drop the name Dominic and just call him Dajakovic. <laughs> uh next we get to Unspeed Era. They talk about how you know they got bad times start, since starting twenty nineteen. And talk about how it was just a speed bump. You know, just a bunch of bunch of speed bump bumps uh, along the way, uh, from going into twenty nineteen. Talk about how NXT uh they, they want to get NXT gold. And you know, they they also talk about how they gonna they gonna it, it, you know they're gonna take what's what's theirs. You know, this take was ours in a, in a way. You know, basically, um, quoting, um, you know, and I quote or what they said to them. I'll, I'll be, you know, what they said meant to say. I what, what said to them. What, what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but they said they they, they want all the goals. Honestly, everyone will get all the goals. And basically, Adam Cole talks about Ricochet. He's got plans for Ricochet, where it pertains to um beating him. And he says, um, once that happens, the it, it the year of it's gonna be the year of the Undisputed meant to say. And there you go. So yeah, good promos from the Unspeed Era. All, all four of them. Uh, then we get to uh, what happened uh, last week. You know, basically uh, after the match uh, last week, Io Shirai was um, talking about you know how she um, you know beat uh, Shayna Baszler in that six women's tag team match, and she wants a shot against uh, Shayna Baszler. And Kyrie Sane was talking uh, uh, for uh, Io Shirai too as well, uh, for you know for earning that spot. And also she she got interrupted by Bianca Belair. So Bianca Blair says, you know, she has no problem with uh, either uh, you know, of Io Shirai or Kyrie Ka Ka Sane, but she uh, um, basically um, talks about how she still got um, Shane Basil's number from Takeover, sort of, even though she lost the match, but still. Um, basically, uh, talk about how she's uh, should be she's she's still in the runner, um, you know, in line um, against Shane Basil because she is undefeated. So I don't know where they're going with this, but Bianca Belair kept saying that she's still undefeated, even though it's been uh, it's been shown on NXT um, Takeover from Phoenix, you know, from Phoenix that she lost the match, which which is why she's no longer undefeated. But I guess they're going for some um, with that. I don't know where they're going with this, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, so then we get to catch this Ono coming out to interrupt on this this up this um this um next bout. He basically, you know, was uh, talking uh, like he was gonna turn back to being babyface, and all of a sudden he turns around, talking trash to the fans, and he said he's gonna be leaving, 
But then he get, he uh, ends up bumping into Keith to Keith Lee from behind. Keith Lee knocks him out, and then Keith Lee says, "Oh no!" And he's, he's just saying, "Oh my God!" Basically, was in, in a singing tone, and he says, "You know, well, don't let the door hit your ass on the way out." And then he says, "Uh, sorry guys for the interruptions. You, you may continue." So the Street Profits comes out as they go up against basically um Montel Four and Angelo Dawkins, Street Profits. They go up against uh, Humberto Carrillo and Stacy Everett Jr. Um, as far as Stacy Everett Jr., they didn't showcase him that much, but based on how they show him uh, on on the show, not not bad, pretty solid in the in the ring. I want to see more of him. But as far as the tag team match watch, um, the, the Street Profits were uh, was showing some mean streak in this match. I'm like wow. Um, but in the end, uh, the Street Profits ends up winning that match. Um, and there you go. So then the Street Profits ends up cutting a promo about, you know, they want a piece of the action. And they said, oh, they've been on, on a, you know, on, on this type of roller coasters before. And they said, also, to, uh, they, 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 they're, um, they've been given the ball and they'll go to war of, uh, what pertains to that. And, and basically, you know, hitting that they want, um, I guess, you know, they want a towel shot against the War Raiders, the t- attacking towel shot. Also, let me get, um, our Bardel, uh, Bartel, yeah, Bar- yeah, Bartel and and Eichner, you know this this new tag team from uh, NXT UK, and they want to shot at the top. They saying, uh, nah, they you know, basically they 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 they're talking about they basically talk about um uh, how they they want some opportunities, and then they basically told uh Street Profits to stand stand to stand aside. Also, we get uh one and two, which is Ori Lorcan one, and Danny Birch two. Uh, and basically, all you know, we get these teams um arguing who who deserves it. Also, on War Raiders, the NXT Tag Team Champions comes out, talking about how you know, basically talking about you know uh the the, the tag you know the tag titles that they got, that they got and they and they had and they talk about and and basically um yeah basically um talking about the tag team titles and and no fighting, uh and they want and. Basically, and they want um. Basically, I'll t- let the yeah let the teams know. I'm sorry, folks. I'll I'll, I'll try I'll try to remember how it how it was said. Basically, uh, they were saying uh to the teams, if you want those title shots, you know, you know. All they also in the Undisputed Era attacks us from behind. Basically, Roderick Strong, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish, and then you got the rest of the tag teams uh being up on the on Wall Raiders in the ring while one Undisputed Era just you know. They will, they want to walk away because they they because they were smart to uh to not get involved with that one, uh in case you know if, if anything goes wrong, and sure enough something did went, went wrong because Warriors ends up fighting back. Warriors taking out the entire tag team division, so basically this tag team division right now on NXT is getting is uh is on fire right now. Oh man, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome to uh, see these tag teams. Oh excuse me. You know to be to be, to be more to. To be, to be more de- developed, it's getting good basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, then we get to join Gargano, but basically a view package of him about what's best for Gargano, and only Gargano knows what's best, you know. And basically, it's about him um, defending his NXT North American Championship against the Velveteen Dream. So, and that's gonna be all uh, for, for next week's show. Next we get to Tainara Conti versus Aliyah. The same Aliyah who's never got any reactions. Same thing with Tainara Conti as well. But who's worse? Well, I'll tell you who's worse. Um, Aliyah got some chance. I mean, not all of them. Just a few. Well, about... First it was about, about five, and then also later on, uh, about ten to fifteen. I'm like, what do they see in her? I don't see, I still don't see anything in her. I mean, she's beautiful and all that, and you know, good looking. But she's, I, I don't see her as a, a anything uh, in, in in wrestling, especially uh, what pertains to Tanara Conti, the way she's um always um uh, carries herself. And all of a sudden, Vanessa Bourne comes out. Like, okay, so got, we got another loser coming out there from the from the women's division too, who hasn't won any matches either. I mean, the only reaction she gets is um you know, is her uh, how much she sucks. Or was it uh, you know that she uh, basically let turn the fans to cheer for her and then and then they say no to her. 
so basically, Ali uh, got the whim on Tanara Conti because of Vanessa Bourne, uh, you know, to, you know, try to you know, scram the foot of of you know, Tanara, and then Ali uh, took took uh, advantage of, the, of that and got the win. And also, in the, the uh, we got Shane Bristol coming out after that. Um, you know, basically, uh, before that happened, basically, Vanessa Bourne got in the ring to team up to uh, do a side with her with to basically to go you know to side along with Ali Aliyah. And that's when Shane Bessler came out. And then Aliyah and uh, Vanessa Bourne ran away. And they was about to leave, but all of a sudden they got, they got attacked from, from behind by uh, Jessica, Jessica Manduk and Maria Sophia. Uh, got them in the ring and kicked their ass and kicked their asses, all three of them, you know, on, on, onto Aliyah and Vanessa Bourne. And took uh, Tanara Kanti, who was still in the ring, by Shane Bessler. And then Shane Bessler cut the, um, the promo, I meant to say, and said, the reality is this. Don't look at us. Um, basically, don't look at you know at the four, th- three of the four horsewomen right now. Don't cross them and don't piss them off. And that, and that was it. Basically, um, putting the on the women's tech, um, the women's division, I meant to say, excuse me, on on notice and uh, you know they also leave a statement too. So you basically ain't, ain't playing around, folks. Uh so yeah, there you go. Um, we we gotta see more how how this develops too, where it pertains to uh. Aliyah now getting a win. Um, develop. Well, before we get to the Velveteen Dream, we got two Ricochet uh walking into the uh in, you know at you know into the arena because he's getting he's getting for um his main event match against Alan Cole in his in his normal contention match. Uh, now we get to, now we get to the Velveteen Dream. They did the same thing with um you know basically the same thing they did with John Gargano. They did did the same thing with him with the Velveteen Dream. Basically, talk, talk about the all uh, the world's collide tournament that he won, where he gets um any title shots he wants, either either from two or five live, for the Cruiserweight title, for either the the, the WWE uh United Kingdom Championship from NXT UK or the NXT Championship from NXT, but instead of going after that that NXT title on uh, NXT, he decided to go after the NXT North American Championship title, which I still say it, it makes no fucking sense, and they, and they went and they went against their rules. So whatever. And that view package, I didn't care for the view package. Fuck the Velveteen Dream. Finally, the, the main event match. Ricochet versus Adam Cole. Winner of the match gets to um, face the um, NXT um, North American champion, whoever that may be, between Gargano and the Velveteen Dream. And I predict, our, obviously, Gargano to win uh, against the, the Velveteen Dream next next week. So Now, as far as this match was, um, it didn't live up to the hype like, like I thought it would. But I still thought, I still thought it, was, it was good. Or, or at best, solid. Uh, Ricochet was working the match uh, with, with one bad leg, uh, which I thought was very good, very good psycho- psychology work by Ricochet. And he had some beating Alan Cole, which I, that that shocked me. Like, so wait, Alan Cole ain't gonna win this match? I, I'm like, I'm shocked. So after the match, um, at um, an insult to injury of to Ricochet, we got Unspeed Era, you know, the wrestler Unspeed Era beat up on Ricochet, and surprisingly, Al- Alistair Black comes out. Like, wait a minute, so he's he's staying he's staying he's he's still sticking around. So I guess he I guess he's gonna be making his day de- his main roster debut at the WrestleMania. You know. So um you know, you 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 assume that he is gonna he finally make his debut on the main roster pretty soon, um at the WrestleMania, so yeah, but Alistair Black comes out. But no matter no match for it because um Alan Cole super kicks him. Um, I think it was a super kick from Alan Cole. But basically Unsp Earth took 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 control and and they stand tall. Even though they didn't get, you know, us be everything didn't really get the job done. Adam Cole's too lost. But there you go. That was and and that, and that was the show. But the show, uh, I thought overall it was it was good. But told my wrestling for NXT from uh, February thirteenth, twenty nineteen. Um, three matches. I mean, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Four matches. My apologies. Four matches were uh, with the my wrestling. Uh, and my overall stream for the show, I'm gonna go seven and a half out of ten. So that being said, I'm done. Thank you all for watching. It's Natural Born Diller. Saying peace on the streets. Take care.